I'm Brian Sazi. I'm here with Dan Skinner of Conagra Brands, and uh, we're, we're hanging out in a lot of meatless food. Right. So take us through this. How do you explain this plant-based food craze? Flexitarianism is not something that was necessarily on a lot of people's radar. There were three categories. You were vegan, you were vegetarian, or you were carnivore. Now this idea of flexitarian, where people, maybe a couple days a week I'm going to eat meat, or this concept of meatless Monday came into play. So with people incorporating that into their lifestyle more, Gardein and, and the other players in this category are, are kind of taking advantage of that opportunity. All right, we'll go through this one by one. I have to be honest, I've never had meatless fish in my life. Right. I have not smelled meatless fish. I've never tasted meatless fish. We got a little bit of mango salsa and a little aioli here. We got a little side of lime there if you want to squirt that on it. How you know life comes full circle? Uh, you go from eating fish sticks, gross, nasty $1 fish sticks, to eating fishless tacos. For people who are, haven't tried the category before or, or, or kind of a little hesitant, you know, you might think back to um, stuff you might have tried 20 years ago. Because they were geared towards vegetarians and vegans, replicating the taste of meat was not on anybody's radar at that time, and, and trying to, to get that taste nailed um, was not a factor, but that's really the focus today. It, for, for it to work within the flexitarian space, um, it needs to taste like the real thing. Sorry, Mom, those $1 fish sticks absolutely <laughs> sucked. I'm just leaving it. I'm just leaving it all in the field for you. So what are you hoping? When somebody bites into this, what do, what do you want them to think? Do you want them to know? I mean, it doesn't... 100% tastes like fish, right? but it's there. It's in the ballpark. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. That, that's the kind of reaction we want. We're not trying necessarily to fool anybody, but if the taste says, like, you know what? That tastes good. I enjoy it. I would have it again. Mm -hmm. And that's a great experience. All right, well, so far, so good. Like, the fish taco, uh, it smells like fish. has that, hit, that fish smell to it. It kind of looks like fish. Not 100% fish, but it passes the grade for me. So, all right, thumbs up, Guardian, on that. Let's get the... Uh, Stuffing here. Gotta, uh, it's almost Thanksgiving time. Perfect for Thanksgiving, right? And, and when you think about Thanksgiving dinner, you know, maybe you've got a vegan or a vegetarian who's joining you and, and you want to serve something that, that makes them feel welcome, but also, you know, the others in the group, uh, you, they're going to enjoy that as well. Okay, I will say this. This, um, compared to the fish, this looks and tastes like pretty much like sausage. Like if I was blindfolded, I would say, you know what, mom, dad, this is sausage. Now, the real reason why you guys are here, I know the fish is cool, the fish is, fish is cool, sausage is cool, but this is like the ultimate burger. Yeah, so this is the new ultimate burger. Ultimate burger. Yes, taste, texture, aroma. Mm -hmm. Smells like meat. Dig in, let's, let's, tasting is believing. So what I've noticed with a lot of these plant-based burgers, when you cook them, there's some, there's something that burns off. What is yeah. that? Um, so that's the fat burning off. There's also coconut oil on the burger, mm -hmm. um, so you get a little bit. So it's the oil that causes mm -hmm. that reaction. Yeah, fair enough. The frozen burgers category for protein-based burgers is, is wide open right now. The category as a whole is a $1.1 billion category. We're going to be the first player in this space um, with a frozen burger offering. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a great opportunity to grow it. I'll be honest, like, I've yeah. tried all of these. The Beyond Meat Burger, the Impossible Burger, and I would say this looks closest to the, a burger from what I can tell. But I'm, again, I'm, I'm not the scientist. I'm just the on-camera food reviewer. Burgers, I think, for a lot of people are the entry points uh, into this category. So the burger's got to taste great, and, and we feel like it does. Um, and from there, we, we hope people kind of explore the rest of the line and, and incorporate more of these. Well, now i got to go hit my Peloton bike and work this off. Just, just, <laughs> keep, just keep it real. That's how I roll. All right, well, Dan Skinner, good to see you. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks, Brian. It was great being here. Appreciate it. Yeah.